we go. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're seeing this uh, video, that means I got everything worked out. What do I mean by worked out? Well, I, through many trials and errors, I have been trying to get my intercom and my wife's intercom linked up to the GoPro camera. So, last night, I finally got the right connections made, I got the right attenuation cable, and you should hear Kathy say hello. Kathy, say hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah, and that would be my wife Kathy, my bride of 40 plus years. So. And I'm still the blushing bride. Yep, I can make her blush quite often. But, eh. What guy doesn't like to embarrass their wife? Oh yeah. And he's he's got the um he's got the license for it. Yep. All right. So this is just a little test drive, little test to see if this is gonna work out the way I want it to. And I know one thing; it's quite aggravating because I have to listen to myself in my own ear, and it's annoying. Once I get some funding, I will buy a set of wireless microphones, and that's the way to go. Because so, right now I just have that. It's a long convoluted process to make this work in the way I'm making it work. And there's a lot of wind noise today for some reason. I don't know why. And I don't think it's actually wind noise. I think it's... I think it's static from uh, Kathy from your headset because you know that one doesn't sit in the cradle correctly. Yeah, that could, that could very well be. So, I mean, that's another thing to put on the list is uh, to get you a replacement headset. I mean, at least at least the model that we have, you know, it's only $110, I believe, for the single unit. Yeah. So that would be nice. Well, I'll add it to my ever-glowing list. Yep. Tell me about it. But, you know, if we're meant to get them, we'll get them. Oh, and uh, people, by the way, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the audio, how the audio came out for uh, both me and Kathy. And we'll see. And, uh, oh, and if anybody's been following me on social media, it's, uh, today is day 91 that the body shop has had my car. I'm pretty sure they could have been doing a frame-up restoration by now and been quite a ways into that. But, uh, this is absolutely becoming absurd. Uh, I gave my insurance company the what for the other day and... He said he was going to see what he can do, which I probably nothing unless they get the adjuster to go out there and total the car out. And, you know, and, and here's the kicker. They all say, well, get a rental car, get a rental car. Yeah, that's all well and good to get a rental car, but i got to pay for it up front every week. And that's $470 a week at times 91 days. That's, that's $5,500, over $5,500. And I mean, and, 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 you know, be $55 in the hole and wait for reimbursement? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody that can afford, you know, $400 plus a week for a rental car. Because I, I would have to go through Enterprise in order to be reimbursed. And Enterprise is, you know, $61 a day plus taxes, blah, blah, blah. All that other crap. At this point, it would have been cheaper for me to go out and just buy a new car. I know my uh, my wife sitting behind me. I know she's getting really unhappy with not having a car. Well, I just can't. Um, you know, it's yeah, I'm unhappy, but 
you know, because I really don't like to have to ask people for rides. And, you know, I've gotten so used to being able to go out with my, my girlfriends and my sisters and, you know, go shopping or go to lunch or have coffee or something like that. So, you know, I, I kind of, you know, that's kind of put a cramp in my style. But I've also got to remember that there's a lot of people that can't drive. Yeah. And they, you know, they don't have that luxury. So yeah. I do thank God for what I have. Yeah, we have, we have been fortunate being able to get rides and everything else that needed to be done when the weather has been in Clement or it just wasn't feasible for us to take the motorcycle someplace that, you know, we have been fortunate that people have uh, given us rides. We've been, we've been blessed, actually. Yes, God is looking out for us. You know, if we need to go somewhere, there's, we can call just about anybody. Every time I see somebody on a bike, I do the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Mrs. What was her name? Mrs. Gulch. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we have been blessed with you know people that don't make us feel like we're putting them out. They're more than happy to help us out in any way they can. So that's right. You know, I, I thank God for that every day. Yep. And. You know, once we finally get our car back, we will take care of these people, whether we have them over for dinner or we buy them a gift card to go shopping or a gift card for gasoline because everything is just so expensive. And, you know, some of these people, they go out of their way to, you know, give us rides. So. But you've got to remember that it's better to give than to receive. Yep. And if they couldn't give us a ride, like I've had a couple of people, they couldn't give me a ride. And that's perfectly fine. Yep, this is what it is. Gotta, we just gotta get on with life. And... Yep. But going to church for me is very important. So I have been fortunate to be able to, you know, go to church and be with my church family. Yep. Yeah, these people go too slow around the liveries. If you even want to call this, these things down here in Florida are not rotaries, they're inconveniences. Up in Massachusetts or any place in New England, when you go around a rotary, it's about a half a mile around, not a hundred feet. Remember that one rotary in Middleborough, honey, it was like about a football field worth across or more? Yeah. Yes, I do remember that. Yep. I know these rotaries are really small, but... Yeah, you don't have any reaction time to pull out. I mean, your car start free train and you could sit there. I know they complain out on 64 in the morning rush hour. It takes people half an hour to get into the rotary because everybody's coming into, you know, Bradenton and Sarasota and people just get trapped and they can't get out. <laughs> yep. They, they don't, that's it. They build a lot, but they build the roadway small and inconceivable down here and make it impossible for traffic to get around. All right, well, I think I'm going to put this video to bed. Um, I think the audio test, I hopefully it's a success. I'm not sure. We'll find out when I get home. And um, if you good people are seeing this, like I said, you know, give me a big thumbs up. And as usual, peace and God bless.